afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zidane, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. Oh, hey, uh, sorry. How's your father? Doing well, thanks for asking. He's upstairs right now working on this novel of his, some kind of... A political thriller, I think. You know, airport lit. Oh, that's nice. So he doesn't miss the old school? Well, he was headmaster for 30 years. He still carries around the master key. You know, the one that fits all the locks? He doesn't seem to be able to park with the damn thing, but... That's nostalgia for you. Well, maybe now he'll be... The old headmaster of the school Zaydan is using as his field HQ lives right above the carpet shop. According to his son, he kept the school's master key out of nostalgia. Supposedly, this opens any lock in the building. Famous writer instead. Right. And <laughs> maybe my carpets are magical. <laughs> What? So much for breaking and entering. You're in. Good work, Professor. Now to locate General Zaydan. Ah, 
man's a traitor, and that's all there is to it. Probably got cold feet about the operation. Try to rat us out. Thank you. I'm on it. That is General Reza Zaydan, Keeper of the Peace. Are you here to gloat, Reza? Thought you had a government to overthrow. You should always embrace the small pleasures. You sold us outside. And I would... Target down. Move on to Klaus Strand. You just saved yourself a lot of trouble. There should be room for all here, man. 
I'm very sorry. Uh, let me get out of your way. Just go ahead, man. job I've ever seen. Most impressive, 47. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. Can't have too much security around. So, we have another stand. The 
yet? Yeah, sure, of course. I just, I just don't see the need for all the secrecy. And you don't have to. Orders are orders. Look, trust me, don't... Hey, all respect to you. We don't exactly inspire all the tranquility. I can't have your men slouch around downstairs. So you just hold the fort up here. Party there, here. Gotta be slender. I mean, what's next? Candy from a baby? Nah, he wouldn't do that. I hear he's on a strict protein diet. Okay, you know what? I've heard enough. Goody, security has arrived. Hmm. Be careful, would you? Never enough security, right? Massage expert Connie Angstrom reported at the reception desk. That was Connie Angstrom. Please go to the reception desk. Miss Pearson called in a uh, masseur for me. Has he arrived? It's not my field. Sorry. Klaus Strandberg. Someone calls me from this number. Sorry, Alden. Council's orders. You gotta stay out of view until the Strandberg thing blows over. We don't want to muddy things any further. <laughs> Strandberg. Give me a break. He's just a one-hit wonder. Anyone can steal a bunch of money. How does that make the world a better, freer, more open place? Yeah, I don't really think that's what he was going for, Alden. I, on the other hand, have mobilized millions. I have removed the wool from the public's eyes. And what do I get? Room with not so great view. You know how long I've been in here, exiled, collecting dust? When I should be out there fighting the good fight. Three years, nine months. 
nine months. Those losers out front are really getting worked up, aren't they? Uh, uh, thanks for the suit, by the way. I'll never be a fan of prison orange. You keep it. <laughs> you don't like me much, do you, Olanta? Oh, it hardly matters. So you think this whole scheme will even work? Uh, well, I don't see why not. I work the pros into a frenzy. The tough guy... are openly encouraging people to storm the consulate and drag Strandberg through the street. Don't be daft. Just a second. Assume the position, please, sir. Arms to the side, legs apart. Great. You can relax. No need to flex, sir. And you're good to go, sir. Thanks. Heard something. Moving in. Why? Why are you doing this?
need to talk to the boss man about these uniforms again. This polyester sticking to my... Hey, buddy, look, I'm sorry. This area's closed. Hey, you can't be here. Now move on. Keep going. That's right, paying attention's good for your health. Whoa! Security looking hella tight today, keeping it real, what? You can't be here, okay? Gets down. Now head towards an exit. That was today's excitement.
compromised. But I... I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. But still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. Except for your late predecessors. Cobb? But... His plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. People die, Mr. Fannin. Happens all the time, even to us. It seems like a conspiracy. Probably isn't. And yet, the failed coup in Morocco, the ether virus. Someone knows about us. There was a pattern and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. <clears throat> How much was there? Money. <laughs> Not money, Mr. Fennin. Information on all of our assets and operatives, like you. Take a trench, Director, and make it a deep one, because none of you are safe anymore. I got my eyes on you. You came in the